Insurgency Sandstorm is a hardcore first-person shooter that features an authentic military combat experience. Today, I will show you everything that you need to know to help you get started with this game. I will show you some basic tips and tricks and then we will move on to some more advanced stuff. Sandstorm gives you access to a lot of movement options and actions so that you can deal with the hardcore fighting experience. You can lean from behind cover to limit your exposure before firing. This will keep you alive a lot longer. Like in most other games, you can also go prone to hide behind grass or behind low cover. You can sprint until you become tired and then you will slow down. The biggest side effect of this is that you will be tired and as a consequence you will not be able to aim straight anymore. Your scope sway will be a lot more noticeable and for snipers this means that you probably won't be able to keep your crosshairs on your enemy anymore. Let's start with busting the first mid. You will not be able to run faster if you switch to your handgun. So make sure that your primary weapon is ready to fire at all times. You can also perform a slide if you need to get to cover quickly and avoid enemy fire. Start sprinting and gain momentum and then press the crouch button once your weapon changes position during the sprints so that your character will perform the slide. You can run towards a waist high obstacle and then vault over. Alternatively, you can stop in front of a low obstacle and climb over it. You can also vault through windows as long as you break the glass first. You can kick in a door by sprinting towards it and then hitting it with the melee attack at the same time. This will be quick but noisy. A door that opens inwards will stay on its hinges if you kick it open. You will know that it opens inwards because you will not see the hinges on the door. A door that opens outwards will have visible hinges. These kind of doors will be broken down if you kick them in. You can actually duck while inside a vehicle so that the enemy can't see your head from the window. This is great for hiding and avoiding enemy fire and it can be done by drivers, passengers and even gunners. The key to winning firefights in Sandstorm is to be accurate, because sometimes one headshot is more than enough. The best way to shoot accurately is to set your weapon to single fire and then aim down sights. It is best to do this if you're peeking around the corner so that you can immediately shoot precise shots if you find an enemy. You can even peek through doors by walking towards it while aiming down sights and then pressing the use key once. This door will then open slightly, just enough so that you can point your gun towards anyone inside without fully exposing yourself. The door will still protect you. You can focus while aiming down sights to make your shots even more accurate. You will notice that your weapon will be swaying when they aim down sights. Pressing the shift key will keep your weapon steady so that you can keep your iron sights or the scope reticle on target. Your character will also zoom in slightly when you focus, so you can easily line up your shots. Focus will not be very effective if you have low stamina, so make sure that you allow your character to recover from a sprint before looking at these targets, otherwise your scope will sway a lot more than what it's supposed to. Weapons can have attachments that help you control the sway. Foregrips, compensators and long barrels will help you keep your weapon stable while firing. If you attach a bipod to your weapon, then you can deploy it when you go prone and aim down your scope with virtually no sway. Crouching and going prone can also help stabilize the recoil, but you will become an easy target for an enemy that figures out where you are. There are times where you will be forced to fight, even when you're inaccurate because you're tired from sprinting. You can still fire from the hip and this is much easier to do if you have a laser sight. It can help you in close quarters combat since it allows you to shoot first. You don't have to be very accurate in those situations, because your enemy will be right in front of you. Sometimes it's better to fire inaccurately, instead of aiming down sights and then dying before firing one single shot. For example, you can't fire most weapons while you are vaulting, just in case you find an enemy before you finish this vaulting animation. You will not be defenseless if you're caught climbing a ladder, because you can still pull out a pistol and then fire while you're on that ladder. You will still be at a small disadvantage because you need to stop climbing that ladder to fire, but it's better than not being able to fight back at all. You can also fire your weapon while you're inside a vehicle. You can fire pistols, SMGs and short barreled rifles while staying inside the vehicle, but you will need to lean out of the window to fire longer weapons. Drivers can also fire while inside of a vehicle, but they are limited to pistols and they have to let go of the steering wheel before doing so. A headshot is still the most effective way to kill your enemy in Insurgency Sandstorm, but it's not the only way. If your target is too far away, it's still a good idea to aim center mass instead of trying to go for the head in case you miss. Even if your enemy is wearing armor, the time to kill is still very short. It is better to land consistent shots on the body and kill your target instead of missing a headshot and revealing your own position. You can also shoot through walls, doors and thin surfaces. Use this to your advantage so that you can take out enemies even if they have cover. Fire shots through walls to suppress an enemy inside a house. This works really well if you're using a machine gun mounted on a vehicle. There are two ways for you to reload your weapon after you fired most of your bullets out of this magazine. 
For example, you can do a normal reload. This will remove the magazine, store it in your loadout, and then you can use this magazine later together with these remaining bullets. You can also do a speed reload, which is faster than the normal reload. In that case, you will take the magazine out of the weapon, throw it away, and then put in a new one. This will save you the time of putting this magazine in your loadout, but the downside is that you lose all the remaining bullets that were in that magazine. But this is a great option when you've emptied your entire magazine or when you're in the middle of a firefight. You can also cancel the reload by switching to a different weapon or by sprinting. You can press and hold the reload key to do a magazine check in case you lost track of how many bullets you fired. If you run out of ammo then you will have to make your way towards a supply cache. All you have to do is to run up to this cache and press Foxtrot to grab ammo for your current weapon. If you hold this button instead then you will fully resupply. Sandstorm does not have a game mode that allows you to focus on your own individual performance. There are no team death matches, no free for all modes or anything like that. All of the game modes require you to work together with your buddies to win. You will have to get familiar with most of these classes, because sometimes when you enter a game later then some of these classes aren't available anymore because some of the other guys have chosen them before you. Even when you select weapons and items for your loadout you will still have to think what your team needs. It is very tempting to pick the best weapons and customize it with the best attachments so that you can enjoy the best firepower for your class. But your team might need something else than just a powerful weapon. They might benefit from smoke grenades for example, so that you can provide them with cover in case they want to attack a certain objective. Sometimes you might want to choose a gas mask so that your character doesn't start coughing when you're running through smoke because this will give away your position. It will also allow you to pass through chemical gas without dying and to launch a counter attack when your enemies don't expect it. It's always a good idea to save some space for explosives, especially as a demolitions guy. Selecting the right loadout doesn't just happen at the start of the game. You can still make changes to your loadout as long as you can find a supply cache and then stay near it while you're changing your gear. Open the loadout menu and select the weapons and equipment that you need right now. When you're done, then just click the resupply button and that's it. The changes that you made to your loadout will be applied and you can now play with your new equipment. You can still pick up weapons that were dropped on the ground by pressing F if you want to replace your current weapon. This can not come in handy when you run out of ammo and you don't have a supply cache nearby. You will only get the ammo that is currently in this weapons magazine, so be careful. Don't get trigger happy because you have a limited amount of bullets. Certain game modes in Sandstorm have objectives that need to be captured. It is not just needed to win this game, but this will also bring back your down teammates. Your team needs to have at least one member occupying the objective without an enemy presence to fully capture an objective. It's a good idea to have as many teammates occupying an objective because this will capture it faster and it will be easier to defend as well. Meanwhile, your enemies are going to try to stop you from capturing this objective. You will have a good idea of how many enemies are in the same objective area based on the capture progress shown on the screen. If you see stalemate, this means that there is an equal number of defenders and attackers, and the capture process cannot continue. You will capture this objective if you outnumber the enemies that are defending it. In the same way, you can start clearing the objective if you outnumber the enemies who are trying to capture it. A blocked objective means that there is an enemy in the area and he is preventing you from finalizing the capture, so you will have to find him and kill him. Not all objectives need to be captured, some of them need to be destroyed, just like weapon caches for example. There are two ways to do this. The first method is to go up to the objective, press and hold the foxhot key. This will put an explosive in place and then you can detonate it later. Just make sure that you keep some distance between the objective and yourself, otherwise you will die on the explosion. This method is also applicable to the fuel trucks in the skirmish mode, with two exceptions. You can actually destroy the fuel truck with weapon fire. This will take longer and your enemies can stop you before you actually cause enough damage. You can press foxtrot and rig the fuel truck, but you won't get a detonator. Instead, the fuel of this truck will simply be depleted and this will effectively disable the objective. Another method of destroying this objective is to simply use your own explosives to blow it up. This is actually much quicker and it allows you to leave the area before your enemies can react. Speaking about explosives, all classes have access to at least one type of grenade. Sandstorm allows you to throw them in two ways. You can hold the left mouse button and then release it to throw the grenade far away. Alternatively, you can hold the right mouse button and release it to throw the grenade just a short distance in front of you. To cook your grenade, simply hold one of the mouse buttons depending on how far you want to throw it, then click the other mouse button to set the grenade to life. Just remember to release the button that you are holding before this grenade blows up in your hand. 
By the way guys, YouTube likes and comments are very helpful to me. If you think that this video is worthy, would you mind taking a moment to like and post a comment on this video? If you haven't done so already, then make sure to subscribe. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching, and I will see you in Sandstorm.